For many years, we have struggled with budget challenges such as flat state aid, increasing costs, and a desire to keep taxes low. At the same time, our school buildings, while well-maintained, have suffered from obsolete and deteriorating systems brought about by age. We also face the added challenges of playing catch-up with technology, the need to enhance security, and the need to make measured improvements to enhance our school's excellent educational programs. We are sending out an SOS. Please help us to sustain our schools for the benefit of all of the students of Glassboro. All of the plans will directly benefit our children by improving the educational environment in all of the schools. Let us take a look at the objectives of the program. A rather lengthy list of needs fell into five broad categories. Safety and security, energy and environment, technology, educational program enhancements, and critical systems. The Board of Education asked for help with the two long lists, and we were assisted by a citizen advisory committee. They reviewed, evaluated, and revisited all individual projects and made recommendations for priorities at four levels. No sooner was that work complete than New Jersey DOE announced the reinstatement of their ROD grant and debt service aid programs, under which the state also had priorities. This was good timing. The district decision was to submit multiple ROD grant applications on nearly all of the projects based on the state priorities and to make final selection of the projects after notice of the grant award on each individual project. Let's take a look specific at projects. The advisory committee gave high priorities to safety and security projects, including fire alarm systems and public address communication systems, doors and door hardware and door controls, and security cameras, as well as building integrity. That is projects such as elimination of roof and wall leaks as seen here at the intermediate school. We gave high priorities to energy and environment projects. They include air conditioning, ventilation, and related electronic controls. It includes lighting, particularly fixture replacement, LED lighting, and occupancy sensors, as well as domestic hot water equipment and piping. For example, Roger's boiler shown on the bottom right is a single 30 to 40 year old boiler that has a leak in its system and is beyond its useful life. The plan is to replace this with a high efficiency condensing boiler that provides heating water of correct volume and temperature as opposed to the current boiler which provides constant temperature and volume. In addition to improving efficiency, this will provide better occupant comfort. According to the EPA, programs that promote healthy indoor air quality can improve health increase students' ability to learn, improve test scores, and improve adult productivity in the school system. We also gave high priorities to several specific technology projects, including cabling, switches, and related infrastructure. Technology upgrades and enhancements will address increases in bandwidth for network, internet, and wireless access caused by requirements for park testing, as well as future increases in the number of devices distributed by the school and the future adoption of bring your own device technology initiatives so that students, staff, and visitors may access resources while in the building. We will also add capacity to adopt new communication and security technology. This allows the integration and automation of our door access system, existing and future video surveillance, alarm, and HVAC systems. In the picture of the Bow computer room, you can see how a small doorway separates the computer room and another room that has additional computers that students use. We gave high priorities to specific educational projects. These include music renovations at the high school in Bow. Shown are the high school band and orchestra and music room. At the high school, we are renovating the orchestra room by expanding into the custodial area next door to allow for practice areas and storage. We are also removing the tiered floor in the band room and refurbishing the band and choir room to provide for extra storage. Other improvements at the high school include music and performing arts improvement. 
athletic facility upgrades, such as lighting and air conditioning in some gyms, some roof flashing in the bow gym, repairing the high school track and field, resurfing the high school tennis courts, and renovations to the entrance and office at the high school. The committee also gave high priorities to numerous critical systems. These include toilet renovations and flooring. You can see Bow Elementary at the top and the high school uh, bathroom shown below it. Also included were electrical systems and emergency power, domestic hot water systems, and site improvements such as playground upgrades. The Bullock Playground is shown here in the lower right. As the committee was finalizing the local priorities last summer, NJDOE announced a new round of grant programs. ROD grants are funds made available by the state through the New Jersey Department of Education and the New Jersey School Development Authority. These are to help schools pay for eligible construction projects. Having done all the preliminary work with the advisory committee, we were ready to apply. On July 24th, the Board of Education authorized our architects to make multiple grant applications to New Jersey DOE. Under ROD grant guidelines, the district was eligible to receive over $15 million in a grant. The grant is a one-time lump sum payment given at the beginning of the project, if approved, and reduces the amount the district must raise by referendum. Under original guidelines, the district would have been approved for 47.25% of the project. That was over $15 million. Projections were that the property tax for the average homeowner would increase a maximum of $162 per year, and we set that as our standard. However, demand for these grants was overwhelming. The NJDOE revised the guidelines, and the result was that Glassboro was awarded only 26.2% of our cost, and the district would have to bond $23.5 million instead of the anticipated $17 million. This was not acceptable. And so the Board of Education looked to the other available program for funds. We compared the advantages of ROD grants versus using the optional debt service aid program. The Board evaluated multiple criteria. Debt service aid easily won in this review due to the reduced ROD grant offer, stronger local control, streamlined local management, and the resulting local tax impact. Of course, there were changes to the project list. We had known that some adjustments would be needed once we had received the ROD grant offers, and a review was also needed for the list of projects under the debt service aid program. What are the bottom line comparisons? To do all the projects in the ROD grant application, local annual tax impact would have soared to $224. This was and is unacceptable. Under the debt service aid program, we will have to limit the value of our project list to around 27 million. And in doing that, we can limit our annual tax impact to the promised $162. Debt service aid provided a win-win situation for the district and the local taxpayers. One more thing on the $162 per year. We reported that the average maximum tax impact of $162 per year is based on the average assessed home value of $188,400, but your assessment is probably not the average. We will have a tax calculator on the district website that allows you to enter the exact assessed value of your property, and you will then obtain your specific estimated tax impact. So let's get back to the changes in the project list. Due to the reduced grant in our selection of debt service aid as a better financing method. This is most important. All advisory committee priority one and two projects for life safety, energy environment, education and technology remain as is. However, several less critical projects were removed or transferred to other programs. All these projects came from the advisory committee's lower level priorities three or four. They include certain paving, curb, and sidewalk replacement throughout the district, new bus loop drop-off at the Bow Elementary School, 
some high school tile flooring replacement, high school gym bleacher replacement, bullock boiler and generator replacement, and burst point video system and digital med messaging system. I am sure everyone is wondering about the current schedule for the referendum. Has it changed? Major steps are already accomplished. Resolutions of the board as early as July, original and recent resubmissions to New Jersey DOE, delayed receipt of the much reduced Rod Grant offer in December, resulted in a review of and a switch to debt service aid. The Board of Education made a final list of projects, around a $27 million budget for this referendum. And in February, they notified the New Jersey DOE of the acceptance of the debt service aid. On February 19, the board held a special meeting, which was open to the public. At that meeting, the board resolved to accept the NJDOE's final eligible cost determination on the project and to submit a ballot question for a March 11 referendum. The board then notified the County Clerk of Elections that it intends to hold a referendum and it submitted the ballot question to the clerk. Finally, on March 11, we hope all of you come out to vote. Here are just a few reminders. Please remember to save the date. Mark your calendars now for Tuesday, March 11, 2014. That's the second Tuesday in this coming March. Then remember to come out and vote between 2 and 9 p.m. Marking your calendar is not enough. Your vote will determine whether the district accepts the aid of $15 million. Yes, your vote does count. The tax impact averages $162 per household per year if the referendum is approved, all for the betterment of our children's schools and the protection of our past facilities investments. This tax impact has not changed from our original pledge. This is what it is all about, better educational spaces and healthier environmental systems for all our children getting a good return on taxes already sent to Trenton, and providing a good return on your property taxes. Now is the time to accept the state aid and continue to have facilities we can all be proud of. Because our children's education is priceless.